what I want you to do is I want you to think about a way to cover this square using right triangles that are isosceles that are all of different sizes. Is that possible? So that's something to contemplate for a second. You can turn off the video if you want to contemplate it further. Okay, so I'm going to show you one solution here. Um, so we're, all of these triangles are going to be of different sizes, but they're all similar triangles. They're all right angle triangles, and they're all isosceles. Remember, isosceles triangles means that two of the three edges, at least two of the three edges, are the same length. And the right angle means that one of the corners, uh, one of the corners has angle 90 degrees. Is it possible? Yes, you can see that it's possible. We've just got one last group to add here. There we go. And we've completed it. You're again going to get some hints. What does the two mean? The two means that the two shortest edges of this right triangle are of length two. What's the length of the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse would be of length two squared plus two squared. That would be eight. And square root of eight is two root two. So the hypotenuse is of length two root two. Let's look at another triangle. This triangle I'm going to label down here two root two. And that means that the lengths of both of those shortest edges are two root two. What would be the length of the hypotenuse? Well, that would be two root two squared, that would be eight, plus two root two squared, that would be eight, so that would be 16, the square root of 16, that's four. So the hypotenuse here is of length four. So those are the two hints that you have to try to solve for all of the triangles in this diagram. Okay, here is the first triangle. You can see that you can get that the smaller triangle there is uh, root two. Okay, convince yourself that that's true. Remember, root two squared, that would be two, plus root two squared, that would be two. Two plus two is four. So the hypotenuse there would be square root of 4, which would be 2. And that's correct, because we know that the upper triangle there is 2. OK, let's look at the smallest triangle. Well, that's going to have a hypotenuse of root 2. So what must, must the two edge lengths be of the smaller edges? Well, they must be 1. OK, so that triangle we're going to label 1. What about the triangle to its right? Well, that's going to be 2 plus 1, so that's going to be equal to 3. And what about the triangle on the very right-hand side? Well, to find the shortest edge of that big triangle, we're going to need to add up these two lengths. What are they? Well, we already know the bottom one, that's 2 root 2. And the upper one, that's going to be 3 squared plus 3 squared. That's 18 root 18, that's going to be 3 root 2. Okay, so add those up and you've got 5 root 2. So that triangle gets 5 root 2. And we can do the same thing working all the way around this, uh, this set of triangles. But stop here and if you haven't already solved the problem, stop here and use that method uh, to solve all of these triangles, and then come back. Okay, here is 7 root 2, 8, 6 root 2, 6, 4, and 4 root 2. hope that's what you got. Here's the worksheet for solving this um, problem, and here's the next triangulation of the square, and here's the hint. You only get one hint this time, and that's the 8. Here's the next triangulation, and this time you get two hints. And here are the solutions for those three puzzles.
enjoy.